Hey there, I'm Jenny, your personal guide to Jenny Tree for hospitals and end-to-end -end vitals monitoring software for hospitals. Today, I'm going to walk you through the software. First things first, let's download the application Jenny Tree for hospitals. Go to the app store, search for Jenny Tree for hospitals and tap on the install button. Once it's installed, open the app to begin your journey. Now, give permission for the location. Log in using the credentials provided to you by our support team. And here, you can see nurse login interface. Here are three tabs to manage your patient's journey. Intrapartum, postpartum and completed. When the patient arrives at the hospital, you will add the patient in the intrapartum tab. Once the patient has delivered or came to the hospital after delivery, add the patient in the postpartum tab. When the patient is discharged, the patient will be shifted to the completed tab. For a normal case, go to Add Patient, fill in the patient's details to create her profile. Make sure you are entering the correct details and then tap on Submit. Her profile is created and a unique ID is generated. But for emergencies, head straight to the Emergency Case tab. Make sure to provide all necessary details asked in the form. The profile is created and a unique ID is generated. Go to App Settings and switch on Wireless Mode for connecting Janitri's wireless devices. Go to the Device setting and if you want automated fetal movement markings, enable this option or you can provide the fetal movement marker device to the patient to monitor movement manually. Slide down the notification bar and tap the Bluetooth icon to turn it on and connect the devices. Tap on Connect. Select the device you want to connect. Here we are choosing Kia DT and SPO2. Tap on Connect. Check the serial number on the SPO2 device that matches with the one on the screen and select the device. It will start monitoring. Tap on Proceed. Now check the serial number on the Kia DT device that matches with the one on the screen and select the device. Once connected, place the device on the patient correctly and when you start to see the values on the screen, select Start Test to view real-time data. If the heart rate is not in the normal range, the readings will turn red and you will hear the alert sounds. After monitoring, disconnect the devices from the disconnect button. Now, it's time to enter labor data. Go to the labor data icon and select fill labor data. Another screen will open where you will fill all the details of the patient. The details you filled previously while adding the patient will have a tick mark. Enter the details and select save to save all the details. Once saved, a tick mark will appear as shown on the screen. For blood pressure, either connect with the BP device or enter the values manually and tap save. If the value entered is not in normal range, an error message will appear. Enter temperature and save it. If the value entered is not in normal range, it will notify you with an error message as shown. You can calculate Bishop's score with ease by just filling in the details asked and it will automatically calculate the score and tap save details. Once you have filled in all the details, you can go back to the home screen. You can see and manage alerts, do cervix assessment, handle complications and fill in patient data effortlessly. To fill the patient data, tap on fill the patient data and fill in the details such as the basic details, admission notes, patient history, treatment, examination and pre-delivery checklist. Tap on save details at each section to save it. Tap on the view files button to view the digital reports of the patient. Here you will see the partograph. You can take a print of it which has all the details of the patient and partograph. Tests tab will show the graph with FHR, MHR and UC plotting. Patient details. Tab will show all the patient details which you can download and take a print. Any doctor notes will be shown in the doctor notes tab. Here you can calculate the important labor scores. If it's a C-section, you need to fill the Robson score. Follow the steps as shown here. If you have already filled in the Bishop score before, the details will be saved here. And if not, you can calculate the Bishop score here as well. Tap on Consent form. If you need consent for any of the mentioned lists, check the box and tap Next. 
fill in the details of the person who is signing the consent form. Check the terms and conditions box and tap on guardian signature. Do the signature and tap next. The attendant will also do the sign in the space provided and tap next. Check the signs and tap on submit. The consent form is now submitted. If you need consent for something else, again go to take consent and perform the steps. If the patient is facing any complications, go to the complications icon and select the complication. The software will generate alerts as per the complications selected. Go to tap for more information. With referral slash Lama, you can refer the patient to another hospital, select the complication and enter the referral facility where you are referring. If the patient has delivered and you have filled in all the details, tap on mark patient as delivered and it will ask if the patient has delivered. Tap on yes. If delivered, it will ask you membrane rupture time, date and amniotic fluid. It will redirect you to the delivery form. Fill the delivery form. Here you can calculate APAGAR score. Tap on calculate APAGAR. Fill in the details and it will give you the score automatically. Fill the placenta form. Fill the details to calculate Robson's score and save the details. The patient is now shifted to the postpartum tab. Connect the BP device. Check the serial number on the device that matches with the one on the screen and select the device. You can set a timer to start monitoring. If not, tap not now to start the monitor instantly. You can check the real-time monitoring on the software. After monitoring is done, the output will be shown on the screen. You can set the OSI threshold value from the app settings. In the app settings, scroll down to find OSI threshold value and set the value. Go to view files and postpartum test to check OSI trends. Select the test whose value you want to check. Fill the postpartum data of mother and child. You can check the details filled from view files and postpartum data. In case you need to refer the patient, go to refer slash Lama and fill in the necessary details. Go to discharge patient to discharge patient. A confirmation notification will appear. Tap yes to discharge the patient. The patient will be shifted to the completed tab. Go to view files to see all the details of the patient. Once you're done, finalize the process, go to the three horizontal lines and tap on sync data and you're good to go. And there you have it. With Janitri, for hospitals, you're equipped to provide top-notch maternal care like never before. Thanks for tuning in and happy caregiving.